I am Dr. Sujan Bradhan, consultant pulmonologist at Ravina Tagore Hospital, Kolkata. As we all know, the new mutant of Omicron uh, is rapidly spreading throughout the world, and uh, we have started getting cases in ma uh, many states of India also. Uh, so, what uh, the main features that we differ it differs from the Delta variant is uh, the there is a little bit of atypical symptoms that we find in this uh, um, uh, Omicron mutant. It's mostly scratchy uh, throat, generalized body ache. Uh, and uh, it's not, the fever is not a very uh, common symptom in this uh, mutant variant. Uh, the mm, difference with this mutant variant is, uh, as we found in Delta, that initially it uh, colonized in the upper respiratory tract. But in Omicron, we are fi mostly finding it directly reaching the lower respiratory tract and causing uh, symptoms. So uh, initially, even though we have a scratchy throat and a body ache with the initial symptoms, but uh, the shortness of breath comes quite early in this case. And uh, if the cases are not as uh, we are not finding as severe cases uh, with Omicron presently, but uh, uh, once the um, load increases, we'll be finding the similar pattern of uh, uh, the disease progression with the similar amount of uh, severity. That's what the WHO is predicting. So, uh, uh, and one more thing we have to keep in mind is that uh, the vaccination, the uh, two doses of vaccination uh, might not be sufficient for the Omicron uh, mutant. And we are in getting cases lately. We are also getting cases where um, lots of patients are coming in uh, having this um, this COVID positivity with uh, in spite of being vaccinated. So uh, as the gene sequencing is not very commonly done uh, till now, we uh, don't have much uh, much uh, probability of uh, just sending those these cases for gene sequencing so might be we have a uh, um, increased load of omicron which is not yet been de being detected uh, and omicron mutant variant it is much more transmissible and uh, we have to keep in mind that it might be one of the causes for the third wave coming on so we have to maintain the basic norms which we have been uh, over and over uh, educating people regarding the social distancing norms, wearing the masks, mm. and uh, uh, th these these uh, these uh, basic uh, norms would be the most vital tools of preventing this uh, Omicron from propagating fast in our society. So I would again request all uh, um, uh, all people uh, to just keep in mind that the basic norms still have to be followed. Otherwise, uh, the, otherwise we can again land up with a severe spike in the cases in the society. Thank you.